So I've put together a simple app here just to demonstrate how the concurrent function works. If we take a look here, we've got two galleries and um, I've just set up gallery one, which is on the left here, and that connects to the Chino Does Stuff Twitter feed, which is an, obviously is an external data source to Office 365. On the right here, I have a SharePoint connection or a connection to a SharePoint list, which is sitting in my Office 365 tenant. Now, as, it, as you would probably expect, the Office 365 data connection should load quite a bit faster than the Twitter feed. And just to demonstrate this, let's hit, well, let, let me first clear both collections and let me hit refresh and what this is going to do it's going to reach out to both data connections and load them into the gallery so let's go now you may be thinking they looked to be happening at exactly the same time there was probably about a one second discernible um, pause there while the data connections loaded. Take a quick look at what's behind this refresh button. If I just highlight that and I drag this down so everyone can see. So I'm just setting a couple of variables here that I'm not using at this stage, but the two lines here that we're really concerned about is the clear can the two clear collects, which is are building the collections that the both galleries are connected to. Now, the first gallery is using this Twitter data connection that we get with Power Apps. And um, I'm just saying, bring down all the Chino does stuff tweets from that Twitter feed. And on the second collection, I am connecting to my SharePoint list. So what is happening when I click refresh in this example is variable one is getting set and then variable two is getting set. Then it reaches out for the Twitter data and lastly reaches out to the SharePoint data. In this scenario, the, the load or the time it takes for this screen to appear will be the sum of the lowest or the slowest, I should say, the slowest connection in this well, the slowest action in this list of actions that I'm performing. And the slowest action here will be the Twitter, downloading the Twitter timeline. But because this is still relatively quick, we're not really noticing a huge difference. Um, again, just to go back and do that again. So I'll clear all the collections and I'll do that. And we really pretty much are noticing um, just a quick load and then the whole screen comes alive. Now let's see what happens if we change this refresh data connection around a little bit. And instead of doing performing these two collect, clear collect um, actions one after another, let's do them at the same time using a concurrent function. So all I'll do is just be in the line before our first collect, which is a concurrent function. We need to make sure we've got, we're closing that concurrent function at the end. And instead of a semicolon separating each action that we want to do concurrently, we want a comma. Let's have a quick look at how this performs compared to how we had it when we're doing things one at a time. Okay, so a vastly different result here. Almost instantaneously, we've got our data from SharePoint. And that, like I said, that is because that is an Office 365 connector and it is basically sitting on the same platform as our power app, meaning that it's effectively taking no time at all to bring down that data. While our Twitter feed is reaching out to an external system and takes 
quite a bit, considerably longer than the SharePoint connector. And by putting them in a concurrent action or concurrent function, we're not um, delaying our SharePoint load until after our Twitter feed loads. We're doing them at exactly the same time. In the real world, you're most likely going to have multiple data connections loading and multiple actions um, happening in um, a, uh, underneath buttons and maybe on screen loads and so forth. Now, the big gotcha, the only real gotcha with the concurrent function is that if you've got two actions in your concurrent, you can't use a result from the pre from from an action inside of the concurrent um, in another action in the same concurrent function. So because these are happening at exactly the same time, I'm declaring this uh, collection at the same time. Well, I'm declaring the call gallery one collection at the same time I'm declaring call gallery two. I cannot um, use call gallery one in my uh, second statement here. I could use it outside of concurrent, but I cannot use it inside of the concurrent function because they are happening at exactly the same time and they're not aware of each other. Okay, that's another Power Apps tutorial. Make sure you click that like button if you like the video. And of course, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all the latest stuff coming out. I've got plenty of videos coming up. So yeah, hit that like button and hit the bell notification to keep in the loop when I'm posting new videos to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.